Hey, what's happening everyone? Brian coming to you live from the bench Sunday. Uh, just a quick update here. Um, been doing a little bit of building on my uh, 71 CUDA from Revell. Did the uh, vinyl top. I showed you with the uh, zero paints. Textured black. Great stuff. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, got the back panel all, all done in the satin black. I still need to do my chrome around the edges there. Still need to do my door handles. I was able to uh, lacquer clear uh, in a matte lacquer finish over the decal to get the uh, shine off the decal. And the rest of the car is in 2K clear. So I uh, got, it, got it to where I was happy with it on, on the shine because I wanted that gone so it looked like a real car. Um, got the gold uh, Pentastar down there. And uh, got my mirrors on. Uh, something I do on just about all of my cars is... Uh, I add an antenna, um, and of course I do a magnet up underneath. I still haven't done my, my chassis as far as uh, putting in my black here, but you can see my little magnet sitting right there to where if I'm transporting it to a show or something and I want to take it off, it, you know, it doesn't break off or I don't have to re-glue it once I'm at the show. It's just an a easy way for me, me to do that. And, uh, this is uh, Tamiya paint that's on this car. It's the light green. That's what I used. X15. Just got some more of this in last night. I needed a little bit more to do the uh, the firewall and stuff, so I got it shot last night. I used a, a tip or trick that I saw on um, YouTube there for the steering wheel, and that was to paint it uh, uh, Model Masters leather. You then take a tan, and I used to me a tan, uh, desert tan, and took a tooth, or excuse me, a toothpick, and uh, rubbed it across in different angles. And I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera there. Uh, and then I took uh, black, and I did the same thing, and then I shot uh, the whole thing with uh, clear orange to give it that effect. And I did the same thing with the gear shift handle is there. That's embossing powder. I used UV resin to put it down. Just a, a satin black. This is uh, my favorite black out of uh, all my stuff is uh, actually Stylin' Res um, Primer Black. It just has the right sheen to it. Uh, it's not too shiny. It's not too dull. Uh, I just like the way it looks and, and goes down. Same thing on the uh, the engine uh, and chassis. You can see it, it, it does pretty good. I also did uh, the textured black on the valve covers. Um, something that I thought that it would look pretty decent and it turned out all right and again i don't know how well that's turning out for the camera but uh got my fuel lines ran i got a water jacket on there for the thermostat so no uh, housing so i can uh add a radi radiator hose to it here in a little bit and get some more stuff done did the louvers on the back of the car of course uh louvered window and the and the spoiler and uh, I did the back panel, the, the dry brush, as well as the side of the air cleaner. And again, I don't know how well my camera is going to pick this up, but the side of the air cleaner and the back emblems on the sail panel there, right there, are done with Prismacolor pencils. Kind of the same effect as doing a dry brush. Uh, these are Prismacolor uh, artist pencils. Um, use the gold of course for the uh, gold emblem, and then I have a silver one sitting right here on the bench that I use for the silvers. I use the same thing for my my uh, instrument panel. I use the white. Those are just a, a couple of the the little tools that I've been using, and uh, this kit's going good. Going together pretty damn good. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I usually don't build a 124 scale. I usually always build a 125th, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the way this one's going together. Now, uh, update on the giveaway. Uh, we have, uh, we're approaching the 700 mark. The uh, GHAD 39 is sitting here in box. Let me get it out here. This one's gonna be given away at 700 subscribers. So make sure you like and subscribe to the uh, channel. Leave a comment down below. 
at 700 subscribers, we're going to be giving away that, uh, that GH80-39. It's one of my workhorses. I, I use it all the time. And at 1,000 subscribers, I've decided to give away one of the Swallowtails from uh, Gallery and Barbatos Rex. Um, great airbrush. Uh, if you guys have seen any of the reviews out there on this, this thing is an awesome piece. Uh, I'm sure uh, whoever uh, wins this one will be... Uh, Super stoked to get it and uh, have some fun with it. But that's going to be at a, a, our 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, been having some fun uh, at the bench mixing up some colors. We're going to be releasing a new color here in this uh, next week uh, for Buster's Custom Colors. Uh, be Neptune Blue and we're trying to get uh, Hemi Orange uh, released here this week as well. But uh, those are the two new colors that are coming uh, real quick. And I have several more colors coming here in the, ne the next month will be a, a busy time for uh, Buster's Custom Colors. I plan on releasing a few more uh, new colors. Got the uh, Micro Mark uh, sprues in, cutting nippers, uh, sprue cutters. Um, have to say they're a lot, and I mean a lot, like the Tamiya. Uh, these things are um, almost same size. That's holding them end to end down here on the... The micro marks are thinner in the handle. They are uh, thinner at the top for the cutting, and they also have a sharper point at the top as far as uh, they they cut a little bit better than Tamiya. But I, I just for the money, the Tamiya nippers are are definitely something I would invest in again. Where the micro mark is a little bit more expensive. So I have the display. We have the uh, Tamiya. We have the micro mark. We have uh, um, there's a no brand there and there's, uh, a couple of the Tamiya's, um, Tamiya has always been my, my go-to, but I have to, on my review, the display absolutely puts them to shame and it's definitely worth the extra money. We also have one of these that comes with your printers, your 3d printers. Uh, I have an Elegoo, uh, 12 K Saturn three printer that I, I do my resin printing with. I do a, a lot of bodies as well as a lot of cars, and I, I didn't, don't offer any of that stuff for sale. I just I do it for myself to build and uh, save me some money on some aftermarket parts. But I wanted to drop a quick video today just showing you know, a couple of updates, um, uh, showing you what I've been doing here in, in the the uh, the hut, getting this uh, CUDA edit done. And uh, thank you to all of you that have uh, reached out and... Uh, you know, express condolences, and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Dave Fletcher was a, a terrific friend for a lot of years and uh, an awesome model builder, and uh, I, I truly am going to miss him, and I appreciate all of you guys reaching out. You know, it's been a wonderful community to be a part of. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, been uh, seeing a lot of uh, Buster's custom colors get uh, sprayed out on uh, multiple multiple different platforms. I've uh, been seeing... Uh, you know, some of the guys uh, shooting it and just doing videos and, and uh, spoons. Um, I've got plenty of spoons and plenty of models sprayed in my colors. Uh, this is uh, one coat of my lacquer clear over the top of my blurple, which is number 34 in my line. This is two coats of lacquer clear, and you can see the depth, the deepness of the uh, purple comes out in it compared to the one. The shine is a little bit more um, with just two coats of lacquer clear. And this is a lacquer clear that I carry down in the uh, shack, in the sail shack, and it's uh, uh, ready to spray, airbrush ready. Uh, you don't need anything to, to shoot it out. The Prevail power sprayers will be here this week, so those are coming, uh, and I'll be doing a, a, a video on those. Um, Wanted to give a, a, a couple uh, shout outs, you know, appreciate uh, Manny over at Manny's uh, Custom Scale Models. He's been uh, doing a lot of videos um, and he wasn't asked to do any videos on uh, Buster's Custom Colors. He just uh, reached out to me and said, hey man, could uh, I do a review on your paint? Like, sure. So he's been doing quite a few and uh, I say I, I appreciate it, brother. Same thing with John, uh, John's Custom Models. Uh, he's been uh, spraying there right along with Manny and going to town with it. I've had uh, several uh, bottles go out this week and uh, appreciate all your guys' support. You know, uh, it's been a lot, a lot of fun uh, 
creating that stuff for you guys and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what else we can uh, we can create on the uh, paint side of it because I love colors and uh, again I'm, I'm not um, I have tons of paint on my walls uh, here in in the build bench I just don't uh, just because I own Buster's custom colors doesn't mean I'm, I'm just that brand only I, I mean I, I shoot them all I have a lot of fun with my colors I do a lot of craft paint as well um, just because it's so cheap and and there's a lot of different colors you can get um, you know uh, one of the channels I, I definitely want to mention was uh, uh, but good buddy uh, Gary Seeds over there hanging it with Mr. Seeds I'll put a, uh, a link down there uh, he's an awesome uh, builder he's a superb painter and uh, he has a, a cool little channel going on and uh, I'll see if y'all can give him give him some love and I've been uh, watching a lot of your videos and I appreciate all you guys getting on there and, and putting stuff out and uh, the content has been awesome you know it's it's pretty cool to sit there and uh, be able to see all the different uh, videos while you're you're building along uh, and I, I appreciate you all continually putting out uh, videos um, you know Papa's uh, model cars is another model car room is another one that uh, I've been watching quite a bit of here lately he's, he's a great uh, guy to sit there and do his Friday morning models and coffee uh, Tommy Moore um, dude that uh, that AMT 56 twin engine uh, street freak you just did uh, with that uh, Ford that that thing's awesome dude uh, and uh you know keep them coming man those things are, are are absolutely awesome and again guys uh i know i'm just barely touching a couple of the the channels out there but i appreciate all of you guys uh, appreciate all you guys uh taking the time to to look at my video as well and watch the channel and and, and tune into what i got going on uh mr james morris uh appreciate you brother uh morris custom models uh, he's a, a great, great guy and, uh, you know, uh, looking forward to, to his builds as well. But, uh, guys, um, uh, I'm going to get off of here quick today cause, uh, I'm going to try to get some builds done, get some clear coat down on a couple pieces and then, uh, go visit some family. You all have a wonderful day. God bless you. And, uh, continue to throw that content out there. I love watching what you guys are putting out, man. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't, like and subscribe, please do so. Remember, at 700 uh, subscribers, the GHAD from Gallery, GHAD 39, I'm giving this one away at 700 subscribers. And at the 1,000 mark, we are going to be giving away the Swallowtail Gallery from Barbatos Rex. They did a, a collaboration, and this Trigger Style Airbrush is absolutely awesome. Uh, you definitely won't be disappointed if you win that one. Um, again, guys, have a great day. God bless you all, and thank you for watching the channel. Um, keep on modeling.